twelfth, two thousand nineteen, the much-awaited trailer of the Telugu film Saho, starring Prabhas and Shraddha Kapoor, went live. A Telugu film directed by Sujith, which is getting a mass Indian release as it is getting dubbed in Tamil and Hindi. A production venture by UV Creations in collaboration with T Series. This movie looks like a no-nonsense commercial action film, something that has been lacking in Indian cinema for several years. A movie which went on the floors in twenty seventeen has a budget placed close to about the monumental number of three hundred crores. Marks the return of Prabhas on the. Big screen after possibly the most impactful response for an Indian film with Bahubali, and finally has a long list of talented and capable actors that are in the ensemble cast. After watching the trailer, I was thoroughly impressed in the level of detail, the quality of the first glimpse of the action sequences, and finally the beautiful way the trailer was designed, only providing us a glimpse of the madness without giving anything away. Here's me telling you my skepticism regarding the film, aspects which are only minor, and why I feel like the movie is going to be possibly the most successful action film. Produced by India, so here is Trident and Refuse Productions with Why Saho will definitely break many Indian box office records. But firstly, skepticism, experience. Sujith is directing this massive film, which has a lot riding on its shoulders. Its massive budget, the number of elements it focuses on, and just the anticipation of how Prabhas comes back to the big screen after Bahubali. Sujith's last venture was in 2014 with a film titled Run Raja Run, a very enjoyable romantic comedy infused with many twists and turns, but undoubtedly a film that suffered through several technical issues. Even though the movie was praised for its screenplay, its lack of depth in its writing. Definitely led to it not being a movie for the ages. So for now, the director to be handed this opportunity after a film that was decent and humble with respect to its financial investment definitely has its doubters. This is the same doubts that I developed when Abhishek Varman was handed Kalank after two states, and in the future, the doubts that I have about Ayan Mukherjee with Brahmastra. I can only wish that Sujit has worked day in and day out for this venture, and here's hoping the payoff and the risk taken is truly worth it. Similarity with action sequences. One thing that I think most people can agree with is that two moments from the teaser really reminded us of some of the most celebrated international films. The truck chase sequence as Prabhas is on his bike. The camera pans through a tunnel with pillars blocking the frame each second. Finally, for the last moment. The truck topples on its front side as Prabhas narrowly escapes. The truck toppling and the tunnel sequence is reminiscent of the sequence in Dark Knight, as Batman is chasing Joker eventually for Batman to trap the truck for it to topple upside down. Finally, the color correction, location, and character details of some of the sequences undoubtedly reminded us of Mad Max. Now, whether or not this sequence will be representative of a post-apocalyptic world is doubtful, but just from the cinematic standpoint, the color grading utilized in Saho. is very similar to Mad Max. What sets this movie apart? Bahubali is back. See one thing is clear, Bahubali is the most successful film produced from India. A Telugu film that gets a mass release, gets dubbed in several languages, features leading men that were not household names, and yet the franchise collected over 1,700 crores in its run in theaters. The film made Prabhas an icon not only in India but worldwide. What happens when an actor features in a massive success like this is that everyone gets curious about their next move. After Dangal and its monumental financial success, everyone was curious about Amir's next move, which was sadly Thugs of Hindustan. Yet, if you look at the first day collections of the movie, it It was close to 50 crores because everyone stormed into the theater. The quality of the film was embarrassing, which led to it having no longevity. Same thing happened with Salman Khan after Bajrangi Bhaijan, where despite Prem Ratan Dhan Payo not being a great film, it did great financial business. So you can be ready for massive first weekend collections with this movie, where it will already recover a substantial amount of its investment. Its longevity will be entirely dependent on the quality of the film. The star cast. The ensemble cast in this film only catapults the expectations of the fans on what this movie has to offer. Shraddha Kapoor has had quite some experience in featuring in movies which are physically demanding. Even though a large portion of the masses do not give her credit for her impressive performances, she seems to hold her ground as she shares screen time with Prabhas and executes action scenes. Capable and impressive actors like Jackie Shroff and Mahesh Manjrekar come across in avatars we have never seen them before. Chunky Pandey looks absolutely menacing, not doing the typical. Brainless comedy roles, but actually showing off his acting chops in a dramatic role. To remind everyone, he was the only redeeming quality of Begum Jan. So the man can act. And finally, the man who is getting a second innings through this film, and I'm glad he is getting such a platform, is Neil Nitin Mukesh. Who is the antagonist? The man seems to have faded away from regular films. 
or credible films in general. However, in several movies, I never doubted his acting potential, especially portraying grey or dark characters in movies like South Khun Maaf and Wazir. The man, I'm sure, is going to prove himself as an intimidating and convincing villain. A no-nonsense action film. Which Indian action movies could you name in the last few years that can be compared to some of the quality international films besides the superhero genres? Movies like John Wick, Mad Max, Mission Impossible, Born Identity or The Edge of Tomorrow. What can we think of in terms of scale, level of precision and details and no aspects to cater to a mass audience? No inconsequential romantic angles or basic comedic moments. What? Doom 3? Bang Bang? Simba? Who are we kidding? The only films that come close to the no-nonsense intense action genre that I can think of are maybe Rocky Handsome, some of the Commando movies, maybe Baggy in Parts. All these movies don't come close to the vicinity of John Wick. And that's what we need from this film. Unique characters, an interesting world, precise and impressive action sequences, and of course, a man on a mission who perseveres against all odds. I hope this film is as impressive as its teaser. Here's wishing for only excellence in theatres. And that was the video guys. Write it down in the comments below what you thought about the teaser. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me at JammyPants4. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.